pray, everyone, the blessing of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each and every one of you this day and indeed every single day of your lives. I feel deeply encouraged today just to... Um, to ponder, to reflect, and to invite us to, to think about the holy presence of our Lord Jesus Christ within our lives. What a, a beautiful and sacred thing it is just to, to stop and to truly open up our hearts to the goodness and the grace of Jesus and, and just to think about the ways that our Lord has blessed us and the ways that our Lord fills our hearts and indeed our whole selves with, with, with gifts and blessings of peace and, and joy and just just this the sense of sacredness that truly we otherwise uh, would not and could not experience if it weren't for our relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ I ask you today I feel very encouraged by the Holy Spirit just to invite us to think about what life might be like um, if we didn't know our Lord Jesus Christ can you even begin to to think about what life would or could be like if you did not know the Lord. My goodness, I know for me that if I even began to imagine what my life would be like without the Lord at my side, I just, I just uh, I feel just filled ever so deeply with this um, filled, and this may sound somewhat ironic in a way, but, but filled with a sense, a true sense of emptiness. Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? You know, you're, you, you don't know the Lord, and so then you're filled with nothing. There's just this sense of ep emptiness and uh, this, this sense of no direction, this, this indeed, this sense of, of no purpose. You know, within our lives, when we find ourselves in those moments of, of happiness, true, true happiness, and things are going so beautifully and so, so wonderfully well, and we are just so overjoyed, we find ourselves in those moments on mountaintops, if you will. Our Lord Jesus Christ is there with us, and, and Jesus is embracing us, and what a beautiful and sacred and wonderful and meaningful thing indeed it is to know that he is there with us. And then when we find ourselves in those valleys within life, you know, those, those dark times, those, those moments where, where we don't know where to go or what to do, where, where we feel as though we are lost and alone and afraid. Have you ever been there? I know that truly I have. But even in those moments, our Lord is there and Jesus truly desires to be there embracing us and loving us and helping to show us the way to be the light that guides us down the paths that Jesus truly would desire for us to tread down. So I ask us once again today, I feel so deeply encouraged to ask us once again today, can you even begin to imagine what your life would be like without the Lord? For me, as I said, just this feeling. For me, if I didn't know Jesus, there would be this feeling of complete and total emptiness. And I don't know about you, but that's just a really a horrible, horrible feeling. Praise and thanks be to God that I know who our Lord is. And I just invite you to say the same. Say thanks and praise be to God that I know who the Lord is. If you don't know who the Lord is, or if you know of someone else who does not know Jesus, let us just take a moment right now to invite the Lord to come within our hearts, within their hearts, within our lives, and within their lives. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Will you say it with me? Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. And again, come, Lord Jesus, come. Amen. And may it truly, truly be so. The grace and the peace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each and every one of you this day and always. The blessing and the love of God be with you. 
bless another person's life in even some small way today, it will be a blessing not just for them, but also a blessing for you as you give it. Grace and peace and so much love. Bye for now.